today is going to be different regarding the subjects that I normally talk about. I don't like talking about other platforms, but I will say this. This is pretty pertinent to, you know, the actual Sony platform. So, I, you know, I'll just basically uh, start right now. Um, so there was these sales earnings that actually came out for the uh, uh, Expo, Microsoft in, in general and um, Nintendo uh, platform in general. And what came out was interesting, right? So as I'm looking here, um, one of these sales, they're not even sales analysts, they just have information regarding um, sales. Um, I believe his name is uh, Daniel Amid or Mad. Um, he basically stated that the Switch is basically tracking the Nintendo 3DS. Or, yeah, Nintendo 3DS is uh, numbers. Um, actually, um, excuse me, a DS numbers, which is completely different. I think it sold like 151 million. They're basically stating that it is tracking <laughs> 150 million units. Um, I mean, it's selling outrageous. Um, and you know you gotta look at it and it's like why is it selling that much basically it's it's it's, it's interesting to see why it's selling as much as it is um you know it's a it's a semi handheld hybrid thingy most people are actually using it as the uh, hand, uh the actual console mode um probably um excluding japan and although they have better third-party support um the games that is under Nintendo, it's selling like, like mad, um, which I'll get into. Another thing that is interesting too, is that Nintendo uh, Switch has sold what is it, 52 million uh, units within the time that it actually was released. I don't remember exactly what year the Switch was actually released. If I had to take a uh, stab at, was it 2017? 2017. I believe it was. It was a, it was the year of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. So from 2017, 18, 19, and, and well, and <laughs> looks like it, what two years? Let me, let me just take a look here. But either way, um, one of the interesting things about it is that they say that um, in terms of the Xbox One, um, the Switch managed to outsell Xbox One. Um, about a little bit. So I guess the Xbox One is probably at 50 million. It managed to sell, I'll sell the, the, the Xbox One in 34 months versus the 74 months that the Xbox One was out. Um, mostly it's probably price point, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's also a dedicated uh, group of fans that loves Nintendo stuff. Um, so they will always buy Nintendo things. And I particularly underestimate it how many fans there are and how loyal they are. Um, this is clearly uh, fans of Nintendo products that brought it up to the 50 million. I'm sure that there's, I would say most of it, probably like 30 million of these, uh, of these sales were, were fans of, of, the, uh, uh, of Nintendo. And here's why I say fans. Despite the fact that it's so well, these numbers of their first party sales essentially like okay this kind of blew my mind and i gotta look into the numbers i'll probably talk about that on, on saturday but pokemon sword shield and sword i believe it was it sold 16 million within a month and a half that's essentially call of duty's numbers and it's on one platform now yes granted that's probably its cap so i don't i don't think it's selling any more than that um, I don't think it's going to go up to like 20 million. I think the previous iteration of Pokemon sold around that much. Um, I believe uh, Mario Kart, that's for the Nintendo Switch, has just hit, uh, it's probably hit like 20 uh, million, if I'm not mistaken. Again, it's been out for about like, what, three years, and, and you're looking at those those obscene numbers. Um you got the you got the Splatoon. I think they have five million, and the rest of it is about basically uh, five to, to seven million of uh, for their for their first party exclusives. And one would say that man, exclusives rocks. You know they, these these exclusive sales. This is the reason why you know uh, you should have exclusives and stuff like that. And and yes, exclusives are really important for the platform. It's really in, in, important for 
you know, I could see why people are worried about the exclusives. What, what Sony may be doing with their, with their, you know, their con, uh, uh, with the PS5, and the uh, rumor about Horizon Zero Dawn or its first party uh, titles going to another platform. But you guys gotta understand, Nintendo's on PC. And I'm, like, I'm sorry, it's on, it's on um, cell phones. It's almost as if if you want to look at it, Sony, the way that they're doing like third party support is on the PC, and the way that. Nintendo is doing third-party support is on the uh, cell phones. They have a dedicated, um, uh, they have games exclusive to cell phones. Like there's no Mario Run on uh, the Switch. Uh, I believe Pokemon Go is not on the Switch either. And likewise, there's no type of Mario Odyssey on the phones or um, any of those uh, uh, mainline uh, uh, Pokemon games. That's on a, that's on a console. And both of those consoles, honestly, I mean, both of those games, they're doing well, like, uh, uh, what is it, Mario Run, they're doing really, really well on the phone. And obviously, we all know the Pokemon Go craze and stuff like that. There is a lot of, you know, perfect storm situations, but that in conjunction with price and, you know, um, nostalgia is, is another big thing that um, everyone is capitalizing on, um, including Nintendo, you know, um, Smash Brothers and, and you know most of their games are almost nostalgic just by default you know what I'm saying um, just because Nintendo is, has been out there you know for, for such a long time but if you really look at it now that I'm, 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 I'm looking at it it's like why are these games selling as much as they are Cause I, if I'm not mistaken a lot of people had issues with um, with the, 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 the Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield and yet it sold 16 million and then you look at Mario Kart and that's kind of like a you know I it, it, guess it was released on a switch as well but at the same time if you, if you really look at it um, it, it's you know it, it's basically most of it's on the switch and it's like why are these games selling and then I started looking at trends in general you look at these games that sell a massive amount and what do they all have in common? A lot of it is social elements. A lot of it is like co-op. I, I know Call of Duty started to slip in numbers and then all of a sudden they released the zombies. And then that carried them essentially for a, almost a decade, you know, just because of that co-op aspect. And you look at that and it's like, I think I get it. I think I understand why. I think I get it. You know, these guys are selling because these games are involved in multiple people it's the co-op aspect and, and and things of that nature and then just having a friend play the game you want another friend to play a game so if I wanted to play a game and I, I like let's say I like Pokemon and I'm like man I wish I had somebody to play this game with you know what I'm saying you would tell a friend hey you should really get Pokemon you remember back in the day where Pokemon everybody was all crazy about it that's the nostalgia nostalgia factor and then Everybody jumps in and, and it just snowballs with the cells and things of that nature. I mean, you know, Pokemon is a large, large name. Um, and and you, you get that. So basically part of the Guitar Hero, essentially, um, another thing, too, um, where you have these party type game aspects where these things sell crazy because of the party game or the party aspect. You know what I mean? The social elements that, that makes these games so I don't want anyone to misconstrue why it's selling crazily, um, because there were a lot of people that had a problem with Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield, and yet it sold 16 million in, in basically a month. You know, you know what I'm saying. So there's always an aspect of that. Um, now, I'm sure going back to Microsoft, I'm sure you guys know about you know Game Pass and how it's basically been a dollar. Here's the thing, though. Microsoft reported a loss, and I'll say this: the game revenue for Microsoft was up, down 21 percent, as in hardware and like. Okay, so the subscriptions are up, which is probably the the Game Pass. You know what I mean? Because they have multiple subscription services, so Game Pass is a dollar. Of course, it's going to go up because people are going to try to try it out. Um, but the hardware dropped. 
the software and services dropped by 11 percent hardware dropped by the way 42 or 43 percent and just overall it dropped 21 percent and it's like what's going on here and it's, it's pretty clear now people could surmise that it's it's the end of the generation essentially and that's what's going on but those drops are dramatic they're dramatic and and it also is very telling because you have subscriptions that has gone up but yet they it dropped basically a lot of people the, the narrative or at least people are th talking about this and they're basically stating that i thought game pass was supposed to make these numbers better you know what i mean i thought that was the way of the future and you know it looks like microsoft is trying to go or sony is trying to go in that direction as well which no one knows what sony is doing and i don't think that they're going in that direction i made many videos i think what they're doing is some sort of hybrid kind of like what nintendo is doing nintendo is basically you know they're reduced they're producing their games on certain games on the phone and if everybody got phones and if people want to you know uh, play the mainline experience then you would get their consoles and stuff like that and what sony is probably going to do is like these games are old most likely they want to you know you, you're going to play that iteration and stuff like that and then you're going to jump in it's like okay i want to play these particular games i don't think everything's going but like I said in my other videos, uh, you can't use Play PlayStation Now with a streaming service running at 720p, choppy, micro-blocking, and expect that to sell your product. Some of these games will be native, um, hand-picked, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, probably, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn has that particular mass appeal just by default with the dinosaurs and or the machines and stuff like that. And you know probably it's co-op el um, elements and, and stuff like that but they have to initially get people to want the product um and of course you know like i said before uh, microsoft has run into an issue where essentially playing on pc is free and they have games on pc day and date and playing on a console you have to pay for it so i think sony is trying to mask that you know as a guy so, you know here's a couple of games for free and, and and multiplayer is hidden, um, you know, and the multiplayer cost is hidden into this. I mean, it's a business. We all know, you know, people want that, that particular money. So, all in all, when you look at these numbers in terms of Microsoft, we know that the dollar subscriptions are making the subscription portion of these numbers higher than what it's supposed to be. We, all, we know this. Um, and we also know that Microsoft doesn't really have a, 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 an identity of sorts other than multiplayer. And then Sony pretty much took that um, because they have the multiplayer. And it's pretty much, you know, day and day. And they have their particular, you know, games on there. The only thing Microsoft or Sony needs to do is to create multiplayer games under the first party, you know, label. And they should be good in that regard. But I, I figure these things are interesting. I'm definitely going to elaborate on that on Saturday. So if you guys can join me, there's also a giveaway of a $10 PSN card um, just by watching the stream. Essentially, you just watch the stream. Somewhere random in that stream, you're going to see the screen go blue with instructions on tweeting me a particular word. If you are the first person to tweet me, then you basically get the $10 PSN code. But until then, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what you liked or disliked about the video. And if you liked it, a sub would be appreciated. Toodaloo.